Hi, my name is Whitney Mead, and today I invite you to pray with me the prayers for the family and personal life from the Book of Common Prayer. If you enjoy this prayer, I invite you to subscribe to my channel where I post new Christian encouragement videos and devotionals every week. Let's pray. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who settest the solitary in families, we command to thy continual care the homes in which thy people dwell. Put far from them, we beseech thee, every root of bitterness, the desire of vainglory, and the pride of life. Fill them with faith, virtue, knowledge, temperance, patience, godliness. Knit together in constant affection those who in holy wedlock have been made one flesh. Turn the hearts of parents to the children and the hearts of the children to the parents. And so enkindle the fervent charity among us all that we may evermore be kindly affectioned one to another. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. Almighty God, Heavenly Father, you have blessed us with the joy and care of children. Give us calm strength and patient wisdom as we bring them up, that we may teach them to love whatever is just and true and good, following the example of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. God our Father, you see your children growing up in an unsteady and confusing world, Show them that your ways give more life than the ways of the world, and that following you is better than chasing after selfish goals. Help them to take failure, not as a measure of their worth, but as a chance for a new start. Give them strength to hold their faith in you and to keep alive their joy in your creation. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, whose son had nowhere to lay his head, grant that those who live alone may not be lonely in their solitude, but that, following in his footsteps, they may find fulfillment in loving you and their neighbors. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. Look with mercy, O God, our Father, on all whose increasing years bring them weakness, distress, or isolation. Provide for them homes of dignity and peace. Give them understanding helpers and the willingness to accept help. And as their strength diminishes, increase their faith and their assurance of your love. This we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O oh God, our times are in your hand. Look with favor, we pray, on your servant as he begins another year. Grant that he may grow in wisdom and grace and strengthen his trust in your goodness all the days of his life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Watch over thy child, O Lord, as his days increase. Bless and guide him wherever he may be. Strengthen him when he stands. Comfort him when discouraged or sorrowful. Raise him up if he fall. And in his heart may thy peace, which passeth understanding, abide all the days of his life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, whose fatherly care reacheth to the uttermost parts of the earth, we humbly beseech thee graciously to behold and bless those whom we love, now absent from us. Defend them from all dangers of soul and body, and grant that both they and we, drawing nearer to thee, may be bound together by thy love in the communion of the Holy Spirit and in the fellowship of thy saints. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, our Heavenly Father, whose glory fills the whole creation and whose presence we find wherever we go, preserve those who travel, surround them with your loving care, protect them from every danger, and bring them in safety to their journey's end. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, we entrust all who are dear to us to thy never-failing care and love for this life and the life to come. 
knowing that thou art doing for them better things than we can desire or pray for. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O merciful Father, who has taught us in thy holy word that thou dost not willingly afflict or grieve the children of men, look with pity upon the sorrows of thy servant, for whom our prayers are offered. Remember him, O Lord, in mercy. Nourish his soul with patience. Comfort him with a sense of thy goodness. Lift up thy countenance upon him and give him peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O blessed Lord, you ministered to all who came to you. Look with compassion upon all who through addiction have lost their health and freedom. Restore to them the assurance of your unfailing mercy. Remove from them the fears that beset them. Strengthen them in the work of their recovery. And to those who care for them, give patient understanding and a persevering love. Amen. Direct us, O Lord, in all our doings with thy most gracious favor. And further us with thy continual help, that in all our works begun, continued, and ended in thee, we may glorify thy holy name, and finally, by thy mercy, obtain everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, by whom the meek are guided in judgment, and light riseth up in darkness for the godly, grant us in all our doubts and uncertainties the grace to ask what thou wouldest have us to do, that the spirit of wisdom may save us from all false choices, and that in thy light we may see light, and in thy straight path may not stumble. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God of peace, who has taught us that in returning and rest we shall be saved, in quietness and confidence shall be our strength. By the might of the Spirit lift us. We pray thee to thy presence, where we may be still and know that thou art God. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Assist us mercifully, O Lord, in these our supplications and prayers, and dispose the way of thy servants towards the attainment of everlasting salvation, that among all the changes and chances of this mortal life, they may ever be defended by thy gracious and ready help. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and eternal God, so draw our hearts to thee, so guide our minds, so fill our imaginations, so control our wills, that we may be wholly thine, utterly dedicated unto thee, and then use us, we pray thee, as thou wilt, and always to thy glory and the welfare of thy people, through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console. To be understood as to understand. To be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Thank you for joining me for these prayers for the family and personal life from the Book of Common Prayer. Again, my name is Whitney Mead, and I hope you'll subscribe to my channel where I post new Christian encouragement videos and devotionals every week. You can also join my free video devotional series, Fitness and the Father, by texting the word Whitney to 31996 or signing up for free at fitnessandthefather.com. May the Lord bless and keep you. See you next time.